Hello guys, thanks for joining this virtual session on Apache MXNet Day. My name is Zhi, a senior applying scientist in Amazon AI. In this 15-minute session, I will introduce Clone CV, a computer vision toolkit for deep learning built on top of MXNet from day one to December 2020. This is brought to you thanks to our committers and contributors of Clone CV, and of course, with the support of the entire community from Apache MXNet and computer vision, we won't be able to deliver that much and make it happen. Back to day one of Clone CV in 2018, despite the bloom of various projects that are aimed to solve many fundamental computer vision tasks, such as image classification, object detection, semantic segmentation, we were still having a hard time consolidate a strong baseline that are both high performance, i.e. fast and accurate, easy to customize, and most importantly, easy to deploy. Uh, in, for example, non-Python production environments, we also noticed that the crucial components in the training or inference, for example, data preparation, pre-processing, data augmentation, loss functions, optimizer customization, are scattering in different projects, written in different languages being very difficult to be compatible with uh, each other. Another data point is that it was extremely tricky to reproduce some of the state-of-the-art results due to various reasons, either trivial, hidden, or stupid errors that cause models not converging to claimed performance. For example, the image quality, resize method, order of augmentation, randomness are all famous pitfalls people will easily fall into. Once we did achieve the SOTA performances, we want to make it available for everyone and reduce the trouble when we revisit the task later on. Therefore, we would like to build a computer vision toolkit for deep learning vision models. Then it raised a natural question. Obviously, we won't build the entire project from sand. We want to build ground CV with the right tools. So why Apache MXNet? There are a lot of factors that are crucial for our decision. Here, I just uh, want to name a few here. First of all, speed. MXNet is the first deep learning framework we have been able to tune and achieve ImageNet training of more than 10,000 samples per second, only using 8 voltage 100 GPUs. Per training CNNs on ImageNet is a crucial step in 2018 as exploring backbone network is a very important task in so many computer vision tasks. The same story applies to several other network training pipelines, especially static networks, such as single stage object detectors. Second, in terms of deployment, MXNet is deployment friendly. A fully hybridized or symbolic network can be easily exported to run in different environments. And it is also makes things easier when converting to other IRs for example, TVM or ONIX. The only alternative we are familiar with in 2018 is TensorFlow, which is similar in handling static representations. However, at that time, Glance interface is a plus when there is a good trade-off between dynamic coding experience and a static representation. Last but not the least, the initial developers are all familiar with Apache MXNet it actually means a lot as we are capable of digging into the core features of MXNet and have the capability of customization. Based on MXNet also means that we have a lot of su uh, successful examples that we have tried before. So we are confident that it will work. Finally, Ground CV is here today. It provides an unparalleled vision model zoo with roughly 200 high performance pre trainable weights covering more than 10 different vision applications that we'll, uh, I will briefly go through that later. It also comes with state-of-the-art implementation from scratch, not by importing other packages, but actually written in MXNet or NumPy, or in a single toolkit. Therefore, you can have access to all details, even modify them to have a customized solution with confidence. GlonCV also uh, cares about real problems, we have extended pure research and combined different solutions across different domains, 
so that high performance models get uh, uh, factorization, quantization, on device optimization, etc., all together in ground CD. We also include tutorials to onboard as many potential users as possible with important details. Next, please allow me to go through some of the features um, in ground CD. I will only cover a few highlights here, as there are too many things we won't be able to cover in such few slides today. So if you're actually interested, feel free to check out the model zoo on ground CV website. Um, for image classification, the most fundamental problem um, for CN is the image classification. It serves as the backbone of the other uh, computer vision tasks. Uh, in ground CV, we have image classification model zoo with more than 70 high performance per trained models, uh, including ResNet, MobileNet, um, and some of the latest uh, modifications, including ResNext, ResNest. We achieved the best accuracies using some of the most uh, uh, popular models. Comparing with other frameworks, our pre-trained weights have higher accuracy, where there's no uh, speed difference, and um, you won't notice um, any tricks in the model definition itself. We only apply uh, tricks to training so that it's free in inference. Object detection is another very important task in computer vision. We apply a lot of um, training tricks to object detection models, so the provided models out of the box is higher in accuracy without the sacrifice the inference speed. We have more than 20 pre-trained object detects in our model zoo, either single stage, multiple stages, with tiny backbone or heavy backbones. Compared with other reference implementations in other projects, our object detectors are, uh, usually achieve higher accuracies. Semantic segmentation is another highlight in ground CV model zoo. For example, you can have access to high-performance uh, semantic segmentation models such as DeepLab V3. You can also achieve uh, more than 100 FPS with relatively fast uh, models such as FastSCN. We also include more than 20 models with various speed accuracy trade-offs so you can choose the metric you would like to have. We also include instance segmentation, for example, mass RCN in our model zoo with slightly higher accuracy than the original paper. There are other applications I would like to uh, talk about. Here I have shown three different new applications in ground CV. One is the post estimation, one is the video action recognition, Another one is the mono depth estimation model. With post estimation, you will be able to get the joints and the skeleton details of uh, the person detected on individual images. With a video action recognition, you can analyze uh, analysis the videos with a proper model that can detail the events inside of that video clip. You can also use model depth estimation to detect the depths based on single view uh, model images so that you won't uh, necessarily need the, the stereo camera. You can also use the generative adversarial networks in ground CV. Here are just to name a few in the model zoo. Uh, where there are a lot of popular uh, tasks using gen, GAN networks, such as star transfer, super resolution. Um, in ground CV, we have in, included WGAN, CycleGAN, SRGAN, StyleGAN, with full training code and dataset preparation tutorials. There is also model factorization. The idea of model factorization is to keep the mod most active connections in a trained neural network by removing redundant connections. For example, ground CV provided factorized the ResNet50 series that are pruned for, uh, with different levels. 
For comparison with vanilla ResNet 50, a slightly improved version can achieve 1.68 times higher throughput while sacrifice only one point of validation accuracy. You can also access um, a much more factorized version such as the ResNet 50 0.37 model um, with five times faster inference speed and uh, slightly worse accuracy. Quantization is another important feature in Ground CD intended for latency crucial use cases. This example benchmark compares ResNet 50 OpenNet SSD detector with ResNet 50 backbone on AWS C5 18x large instance and achieved roughly two times speed up uh, in both benchmarks with very little performance drop. Note that the quantization and the, for example, model factorization is usually orthogonal to each other. So making it possible to further speed up inferences by combining different approaches altogether. There is a, a detailed section of deployment in Ground CV, which is an inevitable step as long as the model is intended to serve in production scenarios. Fortunately, Ground CV models are designed and maintained to be hybridizable. So we are lucky to have tra TVM translating MXNet runtime graph to TVM back at intermediate representation. We also team up with TVM to implement several key operators, such as non-maximum suppression, in order to deploy many object detectors using TVM on various backend devices. For example, de deploy ground CV to MXNet C++ backend or TVM is as simple as a few lines of Python code. In this example, you can export the ground CV pre-trained model to symbolic representation in three lines of code. Also, there is a full example showing how to deploy a video action recognition model to TVM, runs on Jetson Nano devices with CUDA runtime in a pure C++ project. In summary, by end of 2020, GroundCV with Apache MXNet can serve as a model zoo of vision models implementations with more than 200 per-train models covering more than 10 computer vision applications. GroundCV has contributed various modules back to MXNet, such as vision-specific operators, data sets, data transformation functions, and augmentations. GroundCV is also glad to see MXNet evolving progress, as we are currently transitioning to MX 2.0 APIs by upgrading um, the legacy ND array operators to new NumPy interface, removing F notations to make model implementation more natural and easier to understand. Finally, thanks for watching and feel free to post your questions via the discussion channel in Slack. I'll be answering questions if possible.